Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do money. Let's revisit. Count the money. Here some notes are given. We have to count them and write the amount here. So here, one 500 rupees note, one more. So total 500 plus 500, 1000 rupees. 100 plus 100, 200 plus 100, 300. So 1300. Total amount is 1300 rupees. 500 plus 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. Total 1300. 1300. Clear? Next is conversion of money. First is conversion of rupees into pesa. As we know, 1 rupee that is equals to 100 pesa. So, 2 rupee equals to 2 into 100 that is 200 pesa. And rupees 3.60 that means we have to multiply it by 100 to convert into pesa. So, 100 to multiply it 360 pesa. Clear? To convert rupees and pesa into pesa, we simply remove the point. And to convert pesa into rupees, what we do? Put a point after counting two number from the right hand side. Right hand side se two number count karenge. After that, we'll put a dot in the given number showing pesa. So this is how we'll convert the rupees into pesa and pesa into rupees. Clear? Next is conversion of pesa into rupees and pesa. First is 593 pesa. So, to convert into rupees, start from the right hand side, count two digit and after that you will put decimal. So, 593 pesa that is equals to rupees 5.93 because you have to start from the right hand side, count two digit and put decimal. So, here that is equals to rupees 45.65 and that is equals to rupees 15. Clear? Next is practice corner 11.1. Convert it to pesa. Here we have to convert 15 rupees into pesa. As we know, 1 rupees equals to 100 pesa. So, 15 rupees equals to 1500 pesa. Clear? Next is addition and subtraction of money. We add or subtract money the same way as we do with the whole numbers. The point between the numbers separate rupees and pesa. So, when you add or subtract, remember to put the point. Clear? Now, I'll take an example. Add 527 rupees 56 pesa and 138 rupees 75 pesa. Solution, it is important that the dot are written exactly one below the other. Now, do the simple addition as done earlier. So, here we have to add these two numbers. So, we will write it like this. Always remember, like you have to write the rupees under rupees column and pesa under pesa. Like here, or dot ke niche dot. Start adding from here. Passes is start karna hai. 6 plus 5 that is 11. Write 1 here. 1 carry over. 7 plus 5, 12 and 113. 3. 1 carry over. Put the decimal here. 8 plus 7 plus 1. 16. 6. 1 carry over. 3 to 5 and 1, 6. 5, 1, 6. So, total is rupees 666.31. Clear? So, like this, we'll add rupees and pesa. Next, remember, write the rupees and pesa in correct place. Add or subtract pesa to pesa and rupees to rupees. Carry over for 100 pesa. That is equals to 1 rupees and add and subtract in the same way. Clear? Next is practice corner 11.2. Add the following amount of money. So, here start adding from pesa 5 plus 0 that is 5 
6 plus 5, 11. Write 1 here, 1 carry over. 4, 2, 6 and 1, 7. 2 and 1, 3. So, that is equals to rupees 37 and 15 pesa. Or you can write rupees 37.15. Clear? So, this is how we will add rupees and pesa. Next is multiplication and division of money. You know how to multiply money. It is a simple multiplication, but the dot between rupees and pesa is important. Now we'll take an example. Multiply rupees 224.30 by 15. So here we will multiply. First we multiply all these numbers by 5. So 5 se karengi to se like 5 into 0, 0. 5 3 is a 15. Write 5 here, 1 carry over. Put dot here. And then 5 4 is a 20 and 1 21. Write 1 here, 2 carry over. 5 2 is a 10 and 2 12. 1 carry over, 5 2 is a 10 and 1 11. So like this. And then we will multiply with 1. So here 0 a jayega. Then we will put 0 here. Then 3 1 is a 3. 4 1 is a 4. 2 1 is a 2 and 2. Now we will add. 0, 5, and then 3 ones plus 1, 4, 4, 2, 6, 2 plus 1, 3, and 2 plus 1, 3. So, total is rupees 3,364.50. Clear? Jaha pe bhi dot aega, we'll put dot here, and is tarikhe se hum multiply kar lenge. Clear? Next is practice corner 11.3. Find the product rupees 17.06 multiply by 25. So here we will multiply rupees 17.06 by 25. We'll put dot here and then put 0 and start multiplying. 6 2 is a 12, 2, 1, 0, So, total is rupees 426.50. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is word problems. Rajesh bought a shirt for rupees 250, a trouser for rupees 450, a tie for rupees 290 and a socks for rupees 43.50. How much money did he spend? So, we have to find the total money. So, we will add these numbers. Cost of shirt, cost of trouser, cost of tie and cost of socks. Add them together and the total amount is rupees 1033.50. Clear? Always write pesa under pesa and rupees under rupees. Next is practice corner 11.4. Sonal got rupees 200 from her grandmother and rupees 350 from her uncle and rupees 155 from her mother on her birthday. How much money did she get altogether? Means how much money she, did she got total. So what we'll do? We'll add the money 200 from grandmother 350 that she got from her uncle 155 she got from her mother so we'll add them together 
five, zero, one, three to five, and one six and one seven. So total money she got is rupees seven hundred five. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. We move to next topic. Next is bill. When we buy things from the shop, the shopkeeper gave us a bill. It gave us the summary of the item purchased and the amount to be paid. It may be computerized. Whenever we buy something from shop, the shopkeeper give us a bill. It have the item we purchased means हमने क्या क्या खरीदा and total amount we have to pay. Now we'll take an example. Aradhya's mother bought some item for her. She gave rupees five hundred to the shopkeeper. How much did money was returned? First, we have to find out how much money she spent. So, notebook the quantity she purchased is five. Cost of one notebook that is rupees forty one. So, cost of five notebook. Forty-one into five. That is rupees two hundred five. Geometry box quantity is one. Cost of one geometry box fifty point two five. So fifty point two five multiplied by one. That is fifty rupees twenty five paisa. She has purchased five pencils. Each cost two rupees. So five into two ten. So total करेंगे that is rupees two hundred sixty five point two five. This is the amount she has spent, and she gave five hundred rupees note. So how much money she got back? Five hundred minus this amount, two hundred sixty-five point two five. So that is equal to rupees two hundred thirty-four point seven five. This is the amount she got back. You must ask for a bill when you make purchase. Whenever you purchase something. You should always ask for the bill. Clear? Next is practice corner eleven point five. Read the bills to find the total amount and the money left over. Mrs. Kosik buy one kg potatoes, one by two kg carrot, one kg brinjal, and one by four kg chilies. Complete the bill. Here the item purchased by Mrs. Kosik, and here it is the quantity. Here, the cost of per kg. So one kg potato, fifteen rupees. So cost is rupees fifty. Carrot, thirty-four point five zero. So here, half kg. So one by two से multiply कर देंगे. Thirty-four point five zero. Seventeen point two five. Brinjal, one kg cost forty rupees. Hai, so I'll write here forty rupees. We get zero zero paisa. Here, one by four kg cost twenty rupees. Cost one per kg twenty four. And the quantity is one by four kg. So one by four into twenty-four that is rupees six. Now we add them together. Total cost is rupees seventy-eight point two five. Clear? So here, some more examples are given. You have to practice them all. Next is problem-solving skills. Arpit, Rujoy, and Nikhil went to restaurant. They were excited to eat different type of dishes. Here, name of dishes and their price is given here. You have to answer some questions. A group of children ordered pav bhaji. If they paid rupees three hundred, how many children were ordered pav bhaji? So they have paid three hundred rupees. 
the cost of pav bhaji is rupees 20 so 300 that means 15 children have ordered pav bhaji clear because they have paid total 300 rupees clear next is multiple choice questions tick the correct option how many 50 paisa coin make 5 rupees in 1 rupees there are 2 coins of 50 paisa so in 5 rupees total 10 coin so option b is the correct answer so here we end the chapter i hope you understand the chapter well now you have to practice it